Hello, and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another crime news episode today for you. Authorities are investigating after a 30-year-old woman was found fatally shot. At 2.19am on Friday the 28th of July, authorities responded to North Village Shopping Centre at 6877 Dorchester Road in North Charleston, South Carolina on reports of a person shot. When officers arrived, they were flagged down by a crowd in the parking lot outside the Bloom Room restaurant and found an unresponsive woman on the ground with a gunshot wound, with people attempting CPR on her. Medics arrived and took over performing life-saving measures and transported the woman to Centre Point Emergency Room, where she died at 2.57am. The Charleston County Coroner identified the victim as Mayor Jennifer Simmons of Ladson. No arrests have been made to date, and the motive of the attack is unclear, as the investigation into the matter continues. Now, this, somebody just killed this woman because she either rejected him, because she wasn't from there, and no means no in every lane. A 31-year-old man was fatally shot during an album release party. At around 3.25am on Saturday the 29th of July, authorities responded to the exquisite event space at 1890 East Parkway in Brooklyn, New York on reports of a shooting. When officers arrived, they found Cameron Hall of East Flatbush with gunshot wounds to his chest. He was rushed to the Brookdale University Hospital in a critical condition, but he could not be saved. Guests were celebrating the release of a Caribbean musician's newest release. The name of the performer has not been disclosed. Why does it the matter? celebration included a mini concert. Witnesses told police that Cameron got into an argument with another man. As the dispute escalated, the suspect pulled a gun and fired several shots, hitting Cameron in the upper torso. The music at the club immediately stopped and the gunman fled the scene. Neighbours reported hearing fighting and screaming at the noisy party before police arrived. No arrests have been made to date, as the investigation into the matter continues. So ass whoopings are just out the question nowadays. Men just cannot take a butt whipping no more. Who wants to glad I changed my ways? A 37-year-old man was fatally shot while trying to break up a fight between two women outside a bar. At around four... Mind your business. That's the lesson here today. Mind your business. For 30 a.m. on Saturday, the 29th of July, authorities responded to 772 Richmond Terrace in New Brighton, Staten Island, New York, on reports of a disturbance. When officers arrived, they found a man identified as Rasheem Flanders on the ground outside the Shakers Bar in a critical condition with a gunshot wound. First responders rushed Rasheem to Richmond University Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead. Authorities learned that Rasheem was leaving the bar when he spotted two women fighting outside. When he intervened to quell the fight, another man came forward and shot him in the head. The two women remained on scene, however the gunman ran away. Detectives are reviewing surveillance footage from the area that can help them identify the gunman. Rasheem lived in Hill Street in Clifton less than three miles away from the shooting scene. Rasheem's mother Jane Atkins Moyen said that he didn't make a habit of hanging out at the bars and that he could usually be found at home most nights with his two sons aged nine and three. Ra that sounds like something else. That sounds staged to me, if you want to know the truth. Two women fighting, all of a sudden he gets shot. Yeah, right. He got a tattoo the afternoon prior to the fatal shooting that read the words, Life Eternal. His mother said that was an affirmation of his belief in the afterlife. No arrests have been made to date as the investigation into the matter continues. Myron Faith Bowie is wanted by police after setting his girlfriend on fire and threatening to kill a family. At 4.47am on Sunday the 30th of July, authorities responded to a home in the 24,500 block of 86th place in Kenosha, Wisconsin after... America is getting violent and more violent. God dog, you done set the lady on fire because she, she didn't want you no more? Lord. Woman rang 911 to say her boyfriend had set her on fire and that she needed help. Medics arrived on scene and transported the victim to a local hospital with severe burns. Authorities learned that Myron and his girlfriend had an argument. 
Ben Moran told his girlfriend that he'll kill her, her children and her entire family. He then set her on fire and drove away. Myron remains on the run and is wanted for attempted homicide. The investigation into the matter continues. Now, what's your, what's your, what should he have done to himself since he set his leg on fire? Because they're going to catch him. Set this lady on fire. You men need to get y'all shit together. I'm speaking to I'm by myself too. Get my shit together too. 73 year old Rodney Lee will spend the rest of his days behind bars. After fatally shooting his neighbor, 62 year old Sulma II Gassio and 57 year old Tibor Leslie for turning off a tap. On Monday, the 31st of July 2023, Rodney was sentenced to 30 years in for cutting off a tap. He already in a wheelchair. He shot both. Y'all let him shoot y'all? Well, one armed man can kill you. In prison after he admitted to the double homicide. The shooting occurred on the night of the 13th of January 2022 at their apartment complex at 10 McDonald Street in Mordialic, Victoria, Australia. Ronnie was retired and had no family or friends, but he took a great interest in gardening and had taken upon himself to care for and nurture the gardens in the common areas of the complex. He would often leave the hose running to water the plants. He had increasing disagreements with several of his neighbours about leaving the tap running in the garden, as well as his concerns about others making too much noise, or accusations that some were making or doing drugs. On the day of the shooting, Rodney returned to the hose to find it had been turned off. Rodney shouted in anger, If you turn the hose off again, you bastards, I'll fucking kill you. As a result of his outburst, a heated exchange with another neighbour ended when Rodney struck the man with a chair. Later that night, Rodney went. Another key lesson. Mind your business. To move the garden hose to find it had been turned off again. Sulma Tour and Tibor were part of a group socializing in the common area at the time. Rodney confronted the group when Sulma Tour commented to Rodney that water is precious. Rodney then went to his apartment, grabbed a shotgun hidden under his bed, and returned to shoot Sulma Tour in the upper arm and chest. He then followed Sulma Tour and neighbors trying to help the injured man into another apartment where he shot Tibor in the chest. Rodney also fired shots into another apartment. Police responded to the scene, and after a brief standoff, Rodney was arrested. Paramedics arrived. He wasn't playing about that water. Don't touch his water. I hate to see if it was alcohol. I often pronounced Sulma Tour and Tibor dead at the scene. While interviewed by police, Rodney confessed to killing the men, but expressed no regret or remorse in his actions, and perceived himself to be a victim. I've been provoked a bit, haven't I? He asked police. Well, the key lesson to this episode today is, if it's not none of your business, mind your business. That's the lesson we got today. This has been another episode of Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW. Hit the subscribe button at the bottom. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.